Hey, hey, everybody. Good morning. How are we? Uh, sorry, I'm a little tired. I just rolled out of bed. But as of seven minutes ago, uh, Nikita posted a thread on Reddit to give us more feedback. And the list of things that he actually has up now looks pretty promising. It's not everything, but it's strangely enough a step in the right direction. Greetings. Let me continue my feedback of the current situation. First of all, I'd like to say that I'm very sorry to fans of the game community in general for experiencing these feelings. Unfortunately, I somehow did not foresee the fact of such a reaction, and now I have drawn conclusions for my future decisions. <laughs> that is that is about as close to an apology as I think we're going to get from Nikita. Uh, I'm sorry you guys are feeling your feelings. Uh, that's yeah, that's that's a pretty Russian. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I will briefly summarize the main points. About PVE access, we decided to open EO the PVE access to EOD owners for free, but we will do it in waves about time. As I said before, we don't have server capacity right now. We will start this process as soon as possible. This is what it should have been from the beginning, honestly. And I'm glad that they finally changed their mind. We also decided that we will add mod support for PVE mode after release of the game. So after the 1.0 release, PVE mode will have mod support, which also sounds as though they're going to have to change this to a local host situation where they they code it in a way where some one particular person will end up hosting a game session client, whatever, for other people to join. Um, how they're going to be able to work mod support in and all that stuff, if they're going to, maybe they're going to do their own mod repository and you choose which mods, the if, they're, if it is going to be served, the server loads. Um, there's a lot of questions there, but if they can make it work, and they'll support modding, I mean, that's a huge W to bring that in-house. The whole time, we've been saying that they should just bring the SPT guys, the modders from SPT, into the fold and let them work on the project too. It only ends up improving things. About the Unheard Edition, we will not remove it. We want to keep the option to those who want to support the game more, but we will balance items, perks in this edition, as well as provide more rewards for those who upgraded with the old price. New EOD perks will be balanced too, we will remove prioritize matchmaking option, good, to keep everyone in the same spot. We will add more unique stuff to highlight the EOD version in general. We will provide the final list of the new EOD perks ASAP. Lastly, we continue to work on patches, new content events, and the game release no matter what. Thank you for your time, love, and hate, and thank you for your increased attention to the current situation, Nikita. Now, there was a, one other thing here where somebody wanted to really hold his feet to the fire. Please confirm EOD owners will receive all content for the game in the future as promised when we purchase this product. And Nikita said, yes, EOD owners will receive all of the DLCs. Now, there is still no mention about the pockets issue for the people that decided to upgrade. The upgraded, uh, the, the pockets thing is still yet to be kind of figured out. And I would argue that we, gamers, whatever, should really be watching uh, in terms of like what balance means when it comes to these guys and modifying the the scav radio and then whatever the beacon turns out to be. It is already arguably pay to win with the increased stash space and the gamma container. While that isn't going to uh, turn the tide of the outcome of a firefight, it still does give people an advantage, uh, even if it is an indirect one, pay for convenience versus actual true, like quote unquote, pay to win. So this, honestly, to me, this is just another example of gamers being diligent. Uh, wanting the devs for this game that we all love as much as we do to maintain the course that they set originally. That's the whole idea, right? We want the game to remain true to its original purpose and keep the playing field level for everyone. Well, as level as you could possibly make it. In a lot of ways, this is a huge W and is actually providing the community with something that they've been asking for as well for a very long time that was unexpected. I never thought in a million years that we would get mod support like akin to SPT being brought in-house for Tarkov. That's pretty huge. Now, obviously, everyone else around has to make the decisions for themselves that they need to make. For some people, this will be okay, and it's good enough, and they'll be able to return to the fold and continue playing the game. People that want to stream content, whatever, they're going to go back to doing that. Other people will not feel as though this is justifiable for them because of the shit that Nikita and the dev team tried to pull at the beginning of all of this. Both of those, I think, are valid feelings. I don't want to make it sound like you should or shouldn't do anything. At the end of the day, we're all adults, I think, and we should be able to make our own choices, right? But for those of us that have decided to keep playing and to keep going, keep supporting if that's what you want to do or however you want to put it, I would just remain cautiously optimistic and don't lose the edge 
make sure that you continue to try to hold the devs accountable for the bad decisions that they make and keep this thing on the rails. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Uh, thanks so much for coming and watching all of these update videos. It has been uh, a wild, uh, hilariously uh, awful, in some cases, ride. Um, and I'm glad that you guys came and hung out with me for it. I'll be live over at twitch.tv slash one peg if you want to come by. Otherwise, uh, consider subbing the channel here. That would be amazing. Um, thank you for all the love lately, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one, okay? Peace.